Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle F1 channel. Video we are going to see Oracle 19C table space point in time recovery in Oracle multi-tenant blackable database. Point in time recovery is also possible in a multi-tenant and as in non-CDB database, a recovery catalog can be used or not. Video we will see how to recover a dropped table space in a PDB. We will also see the important of, importance of using Oracle Airman recovery catalog. Also, the point in time pluggable database does not affect remaining PDBs. That means that will do in a time table space recover in a PDB, I mean PITR in PDB. People can use other PDBs without any interruption. In this video, we are using an Oracle 19C database with the local undo. So here is, I have coming up with couple of scenario, couple of uh, demo like without catalog, I mean uh, without Armin catalog uh, database and with Armin catalog database recovery, pilot recovery. How to do that? First step, I will log into the database. So let me check that uh, local address is enabled or not in this database. Property name. Property. Here uh, in this database, uh, local undo is enabled, it's, it, which means it's true. Select on ID, space name from CD table spaces where table space name like. And no. Okay, so here it is. Uh, table spaces under table spaces is having this is con ID one is CDB, three is PDB. Okay, you can see here so PDB container ID one, which means CDB container ID three, which means Types, okay, so local and is enabled. The first criteria has been met, and also for this demo, we need to fulfill the following things like first one, we need one table space, temporary table space temp. Okay, Okay, yeah. Yeah, it is already there. Demo one we can create. Yeah, so, so it's an example only. Okay. So we have, we have created and then grant connect resource. resource to Demo one. So granted. Okay. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to take a full backup of database. 
okay say for said i am going to take the full backup of the database even after i am going to create the restore file after dropping the table space let's see We check the restore file is there or not earlier. No restore file is there. Okay, let me create that restore file. Download restore file only. Now check the restore file is created and also I am going to drop the table space now. On the server and set container select name from VDonor table space uh, drop uh, drop table space demo DBS including content and data file okay i'm going to drop that one so i can see here So drop table space has been completed. Okay, dropped. Now you can check the table space won't be available in the database center. I mean, so PDB is pluggable level. Okay. And now let's say. Let's perform the PATR uh, to the restore point, the restore point name. Already we have created the restore point. Let's create the uh, PDB restore. Okay. I will take the restore point name, this one. Okay. Let's connect to the R1 prompt. R1 target. Connect to the root container. Alter. We need to close the plug, so we need to. It should be performed in the mount state, right? So we are going to perform in PDB only. PDB level only. We are going to perform. So connect the arm and prompt as a CDB root container and alter pluggable database. OGTRG plug close immediate. So I am closing. I am closing the pluggable database level and then. Next, I am going to uh, do the PATR for the pluggable database because we need to recover and the restore that uh, restore and recover that uh, table space. We just now dropped the table space. Okay, run. We need to run this run block command set to restore point. We have already copied the restore point name. Set to restore point, restore point name, and uh, restore restore pluggable database OGG TRG blog and recover pluggable database OGG. TRG plug and close the run plug. You can run 
can watch this moment also in uh, log 5. Expected, it's not a recovered as expected in the PATR. Why? Why? Because we are using without catalog RMN PATR method. So this is expected only as per the document ID provided. Okay. Now what we are going to do? We are going to the same method we are going to follow with connecting uh, Connecting with that uh, Armand catalog database. Okay. So select name from PDR database table space. So demo DBS is there, but select name table space name. Okay. File name from data from DBA and school data and school files. Okay. Let's see from file and school name for Let's see now. The file name location will be changed, but it is not expected to recover as expected. Okay, you can see that demo DBS location earlier location here it is, but it is recovered some unnamed file name, and by default location Oracle home location it is uh, missing like one file. Name. What we need to do like. Okay, so we are not able to access this. So it is expected as per the Oracle uh, Metallic ID, and uh, it's uh, without using catalog, it is expected this failure and it, it, it can't be restored as expected. So now what we are going to do. We are going to connect uh, Armand catalog database and then we are going to restore, point in the restore. Okay, let's see how it, how it goes. Now I am doing that, uh, dropping that uh, that uh, restored uh, unnamed uh, restored uh, that data file under the uh, table space, and again I am going to create that. Uh, Backup, so the backup is also available. I'll connect catalog rcat rcat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at rcat db. So here it is in my, in my, in my case, in my lab that rcat 
DB. This is R1 catalog DB. I have configured. It's the database has been registered in this Arcad DB. Okay, I have uh, configured and registered. So I am connecting the Arcad DB. This is a R1 catalog database. Only container. I, I did not. Uh, I am not creating the tagable database in this container. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I am connecting to the uh, catalog. Okay, let's connect R1. R1 tagger good and connect catalog or cat. Okay, I got connected the table space, uh, I mean that uh, database with the R1 catalog database. Okay, now I am taking backup. Backup database, I mean I am taking full backup plus archive. So let's take that uh, now we are going to perform the PITR only. So table space PITR. Uh, we can uh, perform the exclusively the particular table space alone for the PITR. For that, we need to mention the actually location of the pluggable database. So, what it will do? It will create that for dummy database instance, and then it will be a created container, and it will be plugged that the pluggable database created, and then the uh, table space point in time, the table space will be uh, rec the restored and recovered uh, in that location, and then it will do what it will do? It will export and import, import to the current existing live database. So this is actual point in time vector. It's it won't affect the entire pluggable database. What now this method we are going to try not like now we are not going to try that method. We are trying entire pluggable database it's going to be shut down and restore. Okay two scenarios we have seen already one scenario it got uh, failed because we are not using uh Arman catalog database. Now we are using Arman catalog database uh, and it, uh, what it happened? It will be restored as expected. Without catalog using, it won't be possible. It is, uh, it's not as expected. The restore and recover the data uh, time space. Okay. Now, this is a time uh, we can mention. Like we can restore the uh, table space until time, like uh, seventeen twenty-five. Okay. Let's uh, let's do that. The table space uh, has been dropped now. Now, connecting to that R9, connect catalog or cat or cat one, two, three or cat DB. Now I am going to close the plugin database. Okay, next the run blog, uh, we need to run that uh, following uh, recovery command in the run blog, run set until time to date twenty six December two thousand twenty and what is the time is same so twenty six seventeen twenty six okay we'll go with seventeen twenty five seventeen twenty five
ओके रिस्टोर लगेबल डेटाबेस ब्लैक रेकेबल ब्लैकेबल डेटाबेस ब्लैक ओके क्लोज रेड ब्लैक एक्सिक्यूट सो लेट्स मॉनिटर दैट लगता आर्ट तो अलग लग जाए सो नाउ वी आर यूजिंग पीएटीओ और एंड ऑफ ब्लैक ब्लैकबल डेटाबेस पीडी फॉर रिस्टोरिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर टेबल स्पेस that expected data file was been not been restored as as expected now let's check now i am going to alter pluggable data base ogg trg plug open reset logs So it's done. Back to the SQL prompt, and let's check SQL. So it is it is a red right node open state and select name from set lines select name from data data file. So select table space name. file name from dba data underscore file there table space underscore name equal to demo dbs under session set container check the table space has been restored successfully but this time it works as expected because we because we had connected through we had recovered the data of the table space through ornament catalog database okay the table space has been restored and recovered and actual location and everything works as expected at this time the patr works fine the table space was restored successfully okay this is the couple of scenario we have seen so in that oracle and in c and the 12c are that multi tenant architecture the pluggable database required it is highly recommended to use a recovery catalog database when coming to an do some pata operation in multi tenant environment this is a conclusion so we need oracle armen recovery catalog database for a pata operation in a multi tenant environment so we need recovery catalog database that's all my friend thanks for watching oracle f1 channel kindly do subscribe and share your dbf friends and don't forget to click bell icon 